Here's another question where you uh, need to use synthetic division to, de to uh, find the remainder or to determine whether this is a zero, uh, same, same or similar kind of question. So I've already set it up, making sure that I put uh, zero in for x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared in the x terms. Uh, and then I have to divide this by 2 plus 3i. And here's where I'm going to have to do stuff off to the side or, or something just to help me keep track of, of these things. So I bring the 1 down. It's good. And then I multiply. This times this. It's a monomial multiplied by a binomial. So 1 times that will just be 2 plus 3i. Add 2 plus 3i again. Now I've got to take this and multiply it by that. Oh, okay. So... Uh, I'll just do it down here. So 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i. So it'll be 4 plus 6, uh, be plus 12i plus uh, 9i squared. But I know that i squared is a negative 1, so really this is negative 9. And negative 9 uh, plus 4 would be a negative 5. So it'll be negative 5 plus 12i. So this times this is negative 5 plus 12i. Add negative 5 plus 12i. And then I've got to multiply this one by this one. <sighs> okay, so it's um, 2 plus 3i, and I have to times that by negative 5 plus 12i. So it'd be negative 10, which is negative 10. Uh, this would be plus 24 this will be minus 8, so that's plus 16i. Then 3i times, that would be 36i squared, which would be minus 36. So really I have minus 46 plus 16i. Okay, so this times this, minus 46 plus 16i. Good, add minus 46 plus 16i. Now I'll multiply again. I need some room. I'm just going to erase some of these here. Okay, so this one times this one. So it's 2 plus 3i and minus 46 plus 16i. <sighs> 2 times that, negative 92. So it'll be um, plus 32i and then 3 times 46. Uh, what's that, 138-ish, minus 138i, and then this would be plus 46, 48i squared. Okay, simplifying, I have minus 92, this minus this would be about a minus 106i, this would be minus 48, so 92 minus 48 would be negative 140. Yeah, negative 140 minus 106i. And that goes right here. Negative 140 minus 106i. Again, add, multiply by this, take that, put it underneath 32. Uh, pretty well, I think you're going to find that you, the numbers are just getting bigger and bigger here. I don't think there's any way that you're going to get a, a remainder of zero there. I don't think so. So it's not a zero. I'm pretty confident of that. Um, and if they're asking for the remainder, I guess you have to finish the question. But that's sort of how you go about that one.